This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 48. NASDAQ is up 55. S&Ps are up 9.5. We get over and we take a look at that S&P, folks. No doubt, yes, we have holiday trading, but uh, bottom line, uh, that being said, uh, guess what? They're running it right up. We get another all-time high inside the S&P. 32.38 hit out here today. We're at 32.35. We go take a look at the uh, NDX 100, NASDAQ 100, as well as the composite. NASDAQ 100, same setup. The differential in the NASDAQ 100, folks, has to do with wide price spread. This baby, I mean, has monster wide price spread out here today. You've gone from 87.29 to 87.87. And what is that all about, folks? That's all about Amazon. Amazon had been sitting down at the bottom of its consolidation. Uh, it's been sitting here, okay? So check this out. Amazon's been sitting there since August 2nd. And today, just a monster. Monster volume, monster price spread. 70, it's up $76. It's going after the whole consolidation in one day. And guess what? It has the volume behind the move. So I suspect Amazon, once again, is going to be going after its uh, all-time high of 2025. Just laid there, laid there, laid there. And then the uh, bottom line is that uh, it is the mover inside that uh, NDX 100 in a huge way. That's up 4.2%. You get NetEase up one2 Apple is also moving. That's up 470. That's up 1.6. And American Airlines is up 1.6. Big numbers, no doubt. Gold contract. Gold contract also has movement top side and volume behind the move and inside the equities as well. Gold's up $10.30. 206,000 contract. Gold's on its way now up to this 1571 area. We're at 1515. King dollar got a little weaker out here today. We'll see what's going to follow through with King dollar. Down 105 ticks. In order to get in a lower range, King Dollar's got to get down to the 97, 141 mark. Uh, we're about 300 ticks away from that right now. You're at 97, 528. And what that's all about is about the British pound. And right now, the pound's up slightly and the euro. And both of those had been weak in a huge way uh, past the seven, eight days. They got a little bit out here today. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with the last hour of trading in this holiday trading week. Come right back.